Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you in MVC how to pass data from controller to view using sessions. And here we got the output using sessions. We are passing the data from controller to view page. That's it. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial, I'm creating a new MVC application. Go to File, New, Project. And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is Pass Variables Using Session. Okay. And from the templates, I'm selecting MVC, OK. And the MVC application is created successfully. Let's close this default window. Open Solution Explorer. Now in this project, I'm adding ADO.NET Entity Model. Right click the project name. Add ADO.NET Entity Data Model. The model name is Employee Session, OK. And from the model contents, I'm selecting the first option. Next, creating a new connection. The server name is. After adding server name, I'm selecting the database name. Sample DB. Test connection. It succeeded. OK. OK. And here we got the connection string. And the connection string name is a sample db entities and I'm saving this connection string in the web.config file. Next. And from the selected database objects, I'm expanding the tables as well as dbo. I'm selecting the employee table, click finish. And here the employee entity model is added to our application. After that, open Solution Explorer. Let's minimize this references folder. Let's add a controller in this controllers folder. Right click the controllers, add controller. I'm selecting MVC file controller empty, add. The controller name is EMP, add. And here we got the EMP controller. Now in this controller, I'm adding the database connection object. In the action result index, our connection string name is a sample db entries as d is equals to new sample db entries. Now my aim is I want to pass the employee data to a view page using sessions. So here I'm adding session. The session name is emp list. Is the session name is equals to Let's bind the employee table as d dot employees objects dot to list method. In the return view, I'm adding this session. That's it. We have written the coding part. Now we require the index view page. But before create the index view page, we must build the application build build solution. And here the project is built succeeded. Let's close this output message box. Highlight the action result index. Right click that one. Add view. The view name is index only and the template empty without model. Click add. And here we got the index view page also. Now in this index view page, I'm deleting the default header index. I'm adding center tag h1 mvc how to pass data from controller to view page using session horizontal line after the horizontal line, I'm adding a table. Let's add the border for this table. Border is equals to 1. 
Now in this table I am adding TR, this TR row I am adding table head as. Now the employee table contains the employee name contains ID, name, email and salary. Let's add those ones. ID. These are the table headers. Employee name, th, email, th, salary. After that, I want to bind the employee rows to this table at for each loop variable item in here I'm adding the session variable session AMP list once I add notice I got an error I enumerable in this I enumerable I'm adding the employee table put this in the Packets. That's it. Now tr td at item dot. Here the properties id td. Next one is the name item dot name td at item dot email dot at item dot the last one is a cell that's it we have written the complete coding part to pass variables from database using sessions from controller to index view page but before run this application we must change the controller name in the route config file open solution explorer app underscore start expand that one route config dot cs open that one Notice the controller is the home which is a default one. Let's delete that one. Our controller name is the EMP. Let's add that one. And the action result is the index page only which is this one. That's it. Let's check the results. Google Chrome. And here we got the output. Using sessions we are passing the data from controller to view page. That's it.